Hi friends, welcome to MRT Learning. In previous video, we discussed about the islands and desert. Those who did not saw the video, once go through that videos in a in my playlist of geography of India in my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss another physiographic division or relief feature of India is coastal plains. If you observe the word coastal plains, we have two words that is coastal and plains. What is the meaning of coastal means? The areas or the place which are near to the seas or water bodies comes under the category of coastal. For example, Mumbai is a coastal area. Why Mumbai is called as coastal area? Because it is near to Arabian Sea. Vizak is a coastal area. Why it is called as coastal area? Because it is near to Bay of Bengal. Next coming to plains. Plains means uh, we have uh, uh, landforms, different landforms we have. In that landforms, the low-lying areas or the flat surface comes under the category of plains. So, total coastal plains, coastal plains, plains sharing boundary with the sea or near to the sea comes under coastal plains. So, already I told that India is a peninsular country. Why India is called as peninsular country? Because it is sharing boundary with three sides water and one side land. In North India, we can see Himalayas. In South India, we can see three sides water. In West, Arabian Sea and in East, Bay of Bengal. In South, Indian Ocean. So, coastal means uh, near to the seas and the water bodies. So, we are going to discuss about South India only because coastal states we can see in South India only. We have total 9 coastal states. How many coastal states are there? 9 coastal states. Total 20 out of total 28 states, we have 9 coastal states. What are those 9 coastal states? Coming to your left side, west side, Gujarat and Maharashtra. Gujarat capital is Gandhinagar sharing boundary with Arabian Sea and Maharashtra, Mumbai sharing boundary with Arabian Sea, Goa, Panaji, next Karnataka, Bangalore, next Kerala, Tirunantapuram. These are the five states that sharing boundary with Arabian Sea, West. Next, coming to east side, to your right hand side, if you observe, four states are sharing boundary with Bay of Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu capital, Chennai sharing boundary with Bay of Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Amaravati sharing boundary with Bay of Bengal, Vadissa, Bhuneshwar sharing boundary with Bay of Bengal, West Bengal, Kolkata. So if you observe to your right side, that is east side, we have four states that sharing boundary with the Bay of Bengal. So total nine states. To your left side, five states and to your right side, four states. Total nine coastal states are there. And total coastal length of India, coastal length means the total area that sharing boundary with the seas are 7516 kilometers. What is the total coastal length of India? 7516 kilometers including islands. Why I told including islands means here observe. 6100 kilometers mainland that means here see starting from the Gujarat to West Bengal so this is the mainland this mainland coastal length is 6100 kilometers I didn't include islands this is mainland mainland 6100 kilometers if you include islands also islands also are coastal areas because those also sharing boundary with the seas Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea so 1416 kilometers that is islands coastal length total coastal length of India 7516 kilometers if they ask what is the total coastal length of India means 7516 if they ask specifically mainland means 6100 kilometers that 6100 kilometers are starting from Gujarat to West Bengal this is the mainland's coastal line okay so out of total coastal uh, states we have total nine coastal states in this total nine coastal states which state is sharing boundary uh, highest boundary with the sea or lengthiest coastal line lengthiest coastal line highest is Gujarat so see this is the Gujarat this Gujarat having the lengthiest coastal line with the Arabian Sea how many kilometers 1600 kilometers what is the second lengthiest coastal line is Andhra Pradesh 974 kilometers and the smallest coastal length is Goa and the smallest coastal length is Goa obviously uh, Goa is the smallest state and at the same time it is sharing boundary uh, less boundary with the sea that is 101 
kilometers so these three main important why i wrote these three means these three are main important regarding exam point of view highest coastal length is gujarat and the second is andhra pradesh and the third i mean and the least is goa and these nine coastal states have nine coastal names they have different names not only the state name and at the same time they have the coastal name also here see gujarat the coastal name of gujarat is katiyavar coastal name of gujarat is katiyavar next coastal name of maharashtra konkan coast coastal name of maharashtra konkan coast and at the same time goa coastal name also konkan coast so the two states coastal name konkan coast and india's largest port we can see in this konkan coast that is that we can uh, we have in mumbai next karnataka coastal name is kanara coast and kerala coastal name is malbar coast these are the five coastal names so here two states having the same coastal name that is maharashtra and goa konkan coast and coming to your right side Tamil Nadu coastal name Coromandel coast Andhra Pradesh coastal name is Sarkar coast or Andhra coast and Odisha coastal name is Utkal coast and West Bengal coastal name is Vanga coast to your right side we have four coastal names and to your left side we have five coastal names so you have to remember these coastal names Katiyavar Konkan coast Kanara coast and Malbar coast Konkan coast is same for Maharashtra and Goa to your right side Vanga coast Utkal coast and Sarkar or Andhra coast and Coromandel coast so four coastal names okay and you have to understand what oh, difference between the western coastal plain and eastern coastal plain these plains or we can see in west side that's why these called as western coastal plain these plains we can see in east side that's why these plains are called eastern coastal plains what is the difference between these western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains the main difference is nothing first of all we have to know the location the western coastal plains are located between so already we know what are these these are western ghats these are western ghats and this is arabian sea the western coastal plain is located between the western ghats and arabian sea that means here we can see the western coastal plain between western ghats and arabian sea same eastern ghats also eastern ghats are located between these are eastern ghats and this is bay of bengal and these are eastern coastal plain eastern coastal plains are located between eastern ghats and bay of bengal in these two coastal plains western coastal plain and eastern coastal plain which coastal plains have good irrigation facilities and good agriculture facilities means eastern coastal plains why because the south indian rivers are flowing towards the eastern coastal plains the south indian all south indian rivers maximum originates from western ghats where these uh, south indian rivers originate from western ghats from these western ghats the river flow towards the east side that means eastern coastal plains why because the deccan plateau if you observe in between the deccan plateau will be the deccan plateau is tilted towards the east side tilted towards the east side that means sloping towards the east side that's why rivers will flow towards the east side it can't move to the western coastal plain because of that reason the eastern coastal plains having good irrigation facilities and also agriculture and western coastal plains depends upon the monsoons and another thing deltas deltas also we can see more deltas in eastern coastal plain and we can't see any deltas in the western coastal plain because maximum rivers in south india or merges in bay of bengal during the merging time these deltas are formed and we already i mean we also have to know that the largest delta in the world is sundarbans delta that we can see in west bengal what is the largest delta in the world sundarbans delta that we can see in west bengal so this is the main uh, info basic info about the coastal plains once go through the things which i wrote on the board why eastern coastal plains have good irrigation and agriculture facilities means because the south indian rivers are originate in western ghats and it flow towards the eastern coastal plain so because of that reason eastern coastal plains have good irrigation facilities 
so this is the basic info you have to know about the coastal plains of india and coastal names very important thing is uh, what is the coastal length of india 7516 kilometers in that 6100 is mainland and 1416 kilometers is islands so if you like this video please like share and subscribe for more updates and interesting videos